Welcome back to the channel. Today, I have another awesome video for you. This is going to be an amazing story about someone who discovered digital marketing through the channel uh, and was able to land a really good digital marketing job. This person happened to be from Canada, so I know I have a good amount of uh, Canadian audience out there. So I think you're especially going to relate to this video. So uh, Patrick, thank you so much for coming on the channel. I really appreciate it. Of course. Thank you for having me. Awesome. So let's take it back to the beginning. Let's go to the origin story. Before you discovered digital marketing, before you discovered uh, Seth's course, before you discovered the channel, what what were you doing? You know, what what was your life like? What what were you doing for work? Were you kind of lost? Did you not know what you wanted to do? Were you you know Did you go through college? Just give us a little bit of a background. I've always loved real estate and architecture, and I always thought that I would love a career in it as well. I spent my entire life just drawing blueprints of my own house and every place, these houses. And then I went through all the schooling and thought I wanted to get into architecture. I got into it for a year and I realized that I hated the day-to-day -day of it. Drawing and designing for other people was grueling. So I decided to take a gap year, go as long as it took to really decide what career I really wanted to do. So I took a break from architecture and decided to work at a laundry mat in the back of a spa. And it was just hours and hours since the spa was a 24 seven spa. And it was just mountains and mountains of towels. And it just gave me endless time to think about what I really wanted to do with my life. And I think I got lost for a bit of time there just because a year passed and I just couldn't really decide on what I really wanted to do. And then there was a point that I hurt my back during work and I knew I had to choose something, whatever, whatever it had to be, I had to decide. And I came across your videos and what careers might interest me. I just kept looking on YouTube everywhere. And I decided that I needed to decide on something. And I found digital marketing for your videos. And then I came across those course and I decided that I was going to do it. And six months passed of me working 60 hours, 60, 80 hours and trying to do it at night unsuccessfully as some, somewhat successfully. I got a few clients here and there, but really just nothing, not enough to quit my job, but I was in grueling pain every, every day for like six months, taking painkillers just yeah, because it was only me working the back of the laundry mat. It was just all working. Ouch. And if and nobody wanted to, if nobody took the night shift, I would also have to do that. And if, nice. I, if they didn't take it, I would come back the next morning after eight hours of sleep to a literal mountain of towels, reaching the ceiling, eight feet tall, massive piles. Sometimes wow. it's still nightmares about them. Wow. <laughs> My God. So I decided there was a point six months in of even the back pain and trying. I decided that this is it. I just have to just, I saved up six months of expenses, decided to go all in on the course and went all in on the course. And from the day I quit my job to getting the new job in digital marketing was uh, exactly a month because I started on the first and got the job contract on the 30th of that month. Wow. That's incredible. That That's an awesome story. So you were an architecture student for about a year. Just, just to recap a little bit, you were an architecture student for about a year because, you know, you've always liked buildings and real estate and that kind of thing. And you thought, you know, it might be a good idea for a career. You realize you don't really want to do it on a day-to-day -day basis because it's pretty grueling. And then you basically got a job at a laundry shop. You were working like 60, 80 hours a week and it was really back-breaking work. And then you ended up injuring your back. And at that point, you, you realize like, I've got to get a different job, you know, literally because your back, like you, you couldn't do physical labor, at least not, not comfortably. Uh, at that point. So you basically started looking around, you looked at a bunch of videos, ran into my videos, discovered digital marketing, uh, discovered my business partner, Seth's awesome uh, digital career blueprint course, which teaches people how to get into digital marketing careers. And uh, you basically took it. At first, you were trying to work uh, while you were taking it. And you did that for about maybe five, six months or so. Uh, you got a few freelance clients, but you weren't able to secure a full-time job. But then you just decided to quit the laundromat and just go all in on digital marketing. And within a month, you were able to secure a job. So is that is that basically the story so far? Uh, it's, it's really, that's the story. I accept okay. uh, when it comes down to the education. I've completely finished architecture school. Oh, and I, I worked okay. a year in architecture. Oh, yeah, got, okay. We got the got certifications you. and all that. Very deep. Way deeper got in. you. Got you. Okay. Well, that actually brings up another question then. So this is always a tough question. It really always is a tough question, but do, do you regret uh, getting your degree? Okay, getting a degree. Uh, honestly, there's, a, there's, I don't think I could have gotten my job in digital marketing so quickly in a month without a degree because most of them say you need a degree in something. Yeah. do not say marketing. So that was good, but I feel like it helped more. But if I didn't, I would need a much bigger portfolio of clients that I've worked with compared to just saying I've been through this tough thing of university and have my degrees. Got it. 
Got it. Okay, fair enough. Um, so tell me about the course uh, and your experience. And honestly, like we call it a course, but it's really more of a coaching program because there's coaches in there. There's people who constantly give you feedback. So it's really more of a coaching program, but he calls it a course for whatever reason. Uh, but tell me about the course. How, how was your experience? Um, what was the community like? Uh, what was the, you know the feedback that you get, the coaching that you get? How was that? Just just give me kind of an overview of that. So the course is just structured in like ten steps. It's just do these ten steps, and then you'll you'll have a solid portfolio to show to clients essentially. And then each step has like a lecture stash video that tells you essentially what to do, and then the assignments afterwards. Mm-hmm. And for for the six months I was trying to do it during while working. The good thing about working at the laundromat was I could listen to the course the whole, whole time. Uh, so I just kept listening and listening and listening to get a foundation of it. But I was just like barely understanding it just because I was barely, I wasn't that committed to it and also the pain. So it wasn't until I actually decided to quit and go all into listen and actually like do the course at work because I didn't do the course work. I just thought that also I could just listen to it constantly and I'll know all the things. So it wasn't until I decided to, when I quit my old job and decided to just go step by step, just follow the first step and then second step and then fully finish all each step, step by step. And I decided just to, to quit my job. I decided day one, I'm just going to do step one. That's all I'm going to do today. If anything, and then step two. And by day 10, I was done all 10 steps. And then for the next 20 days after, for that month, I just kept applying with that portfolio that I set up in the first 10 days. And by the end of it, I got my job. Wow, that's incredible. That's awesome. Okay, let's talk about salary. Okay, so I know a lot of people want to know, want to know, right? So if you're comfortable, you could give me maybe a range or you could just tell me how much, you know, your first entry level uh, job was like whatever you're comfortable with, but like, like, what's the, what was the salary looking like for that first job? Uh, for this, so I'm currently at my first job. I just, just finished my six months. It was a three month probation. So I'm solidly in this job now. Everything is great. Mm-hmm. And, uh, salary right now is a uh, 50,000 Canadian. Okay. And the minimum awesome. wage in Canada is about 30, uh, 35,000. Okay. Got it. No, so not bad for a first job. That's, that's yeah. really good. So for uh, yeah, at my old job at the laundromat, just because I was working like, I was working like double 60 to 80 hours a week. So it was almost double mid, um, the hours of a normal person. The, at that point, I could only make 50,000. So right now I've half my time and I don't, I just, I don't have to do manual labor and I can make the same amount. Wow. That's, that might be the title of this video. We'll see. <laughs> Making just as much working half the time. So I'm, I'm trying to think of a good title for this. So that might be it. Uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. That's that's amazing. And then le- what about the uh, job satisfaction? So just generally speaking, so you, you've worked uh, at least a, at least a few jobs. You might have even worked jobs during college, too. So you've worked like the architecture job. Uh, you worked the laundry mat job and then you've worked this job. What's the job satisfaction like with this job versus, you know, the other ones that you've worked in your life? The main ones I compare to is because of the, the main ones that work full time, like the ones you mentioned before, the laundromat, as well as the architecture. Mm. When it comes down to job satisfaction, this is by far the most job uh, satisfying. It's the most, as I mentioned before, I quit architecture because it was the day-to-day was just, I didn't even know what it was. Like you, you would work on a project mm. to build any any house or building. You wouldn't even see anything happen for literally almost a decade, or depending on the project, because we worked on big scale buildings. And maybe if you worked on a house, it would still take like five years to complete a thing. And if you make yeah. any small changes, if any small changes need to happen, like switch uh, wiring, you would have to change mm-hmm. a bunch of things and it would take days for it to change even in the blueprint, let alone real life. The nice wow. nice part about nice part about the job here is like I get to run, I get to have an idea and I could put it into I can implement it immediately and see how the data runs. Even if it takes like, even when it comes to running ads, you'll have enough data in a month. If mm-hmm. not like a few days is a little, little, but you'll have information. You'll have you have something that you can build upon. You can make changes. Once a building is like, once you start building a building, it's literally set in stone. You, mm-hmm. If you want to make changes, you have to, you, you can't make changes like you can in marketing. Yeah, yeah. And actually that brings up another good question. What is the exact like? What do you do on a day to day basis? Is it mostly running like pay per click ads, or what? What's your your main job? So when it came down to the course, like I mentioned, ten steps, yeah, like the ten yeah steps when it comes down to the course, it brings you through the main areas of digital marketing, as uh, uh, primarily the ones with the highest amount of like job opportunities. The main four of uh, pay per click, SEO, social media marketing, and email marketing. It goes. Mm-hmm. Or the steps of going through them and making sure you have a foundation of it. And while going through the course, it suggests that you go through the four, do the assignments, and have a foundation on all of them to talk about during an interview. And this and focus on one of them so that you can tailor your jobs and 
look for the job that you think that you want the most. And while doing the course, I had I kind of enjoyed quite a bit of all of them, but I preferred PPC, so I primarily focused on that. But at the same time, I didn't know which one I really wanted. But so I, the job I ended up choosing and getting, it's a small, it's a smaller company, which is, yeah, it's just me and my manager in the marketing department. And then we basically run all of it. I still primarily focus on the PPC as mainly and social media marketing, like the paid hmm. social media marketing. But it's just, uh, it gives me the opportunity to, my day to day is I get an opportunity to work on all of them and see which ones I like and don't like. And after six months, there are things I'm like, I would not ideally choose in my next job that have to do now so this is giving me the opportunity to run like every area including including traditional somehow we're doing like radio and bus ads which is i never knew i would i kind of do enjoy some of that that never ever would have guessed just searching and doing all that got it so would you say that you're learning a lot willing the best most best way i've realized that i learned is actually at a job and i spent in that grueling like month that i just like decided to go all in and learn uh, digital marketing with the course but before getting a job. I thought that that was like a lot of learning classes. That was the whole course and also like learning how to like get my own clients and all that. Mm-hmm. But like every month at work, we just, since it's only me and my manager, I learned so much more because we have the funding now to actually do things that I never could have done myself. Also, mm-hmm. we mentioned before, like the course, it's also just like a, it has mentorship and all that. It's like, I got, I luckily got access to the group that they have there and it gave me a, the clients that I needed to focus on, the PPC clients that I needed in order to get the job. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Okay. Another quick question for you. Do you think there's any like personality types that would do better with digital marketing or does it not really matter? Like, do you think that pretty much every personality type could find their niche, so to speak, in digital marketing? There's uh, quite a few niches and specialties in digital marketing. As mentioned before in the goals, and I think that some of them are more suited towards uh, some person some personality types. I think there's a large enough spectrum of digital marketing and marketing uh, areas that any any personality type could probably match. Uh, but overall, there's a uh, across the board when it comes to marketing. It feels like the underlying skill set is like strategic thinking. So mm-hmm. I feel like the personality types that tailor more towards strategic thinking and like fast paced that that prefer fast paced movement day to day changes would probably be more ideal. Got it. The marketing landscape like changes like especially digital marketing landscape changes like every day very true very true okay um how about somebody who's kind of on the fence right somebody who is kind of in a similar situation to what you were in um they're on the fence and you know they're not sure if they should jump into the coaching program or the the course or not what would you say to that person i'd say i I was pondering for six months i was on the other guy on the fence for a whole year when i decided to leave architecture and decided to go all in on Digital marketing. I'd say you don't really know if you like something or don't until you actually try it. Like I thought, I I thought I would love architecture my entire life. From the day I was born, I was just drawing houses. And then when it comes down to actually doing it, then it was really well. I, I I overthought the thing as much as I wanted the entire time I was in the school. I thought I'd love it. I thought I, I the things I hate about it, I would just get over it. But it was down to actually just doing it, day to day, just actually doing the work, realizing that what I liked and what I didn't. All it takes is wow. especially. But the best thing about uh digital marketing is like to do architecture you actually have to have access to to build a house on mm-hmm. the other hand when it comes down to digital marketing anyone can start a google ads account and just start running ads on their own sites and or anything you can run an mm-hmm. ad on new sites you can run social media ads if you have a social media account the barrier to entry is low yeah i mean you you absolutely can and you could just go ask you know your aunt or your uncle who runs you know, a pizza shop or something or or your next door neighbor who runs a nail shop or whatever, you know, just ask somebody if you're like, hey, do you mind if I just like literally send you free traffic? I'll spend my own money on your account or something. And there you go. You've got like experience now, you know, so it's a, it's a great way to get experience. And I, I really love your point about, um, you know, you didn't really know what architecture was like until you started the job. And I think that's one of the really big problems with the job market right now is especially the careers that require a college degree. The stuff that you study in college, a lot of the time has absolutely nothing to do with the the job that you do. And then when you, you basically have to go through college in order to get a taste of what having a real job is like. And I, I think that, uh, you know, if I was president or whatever, prime minister, whatever, I would probably make some kind of system of internship or, or some kind of system like that where kids can just very easily try out different jobs. Kids in high school, maybe early college, they can just try out different jobs and and see if they like it. You know, they don't have to necessarily get paid, but they shadow people or something like that. But but where it's it's an official thing where it's instituted, because I just feel like a lot of people would not end up in that situation 
that so many people find themselves in. I mean, it's really common. I feel like probably at least 50% of people who go to college find themselves in that situation. You know, some of them just power through and they just like suck it up and they just like do it anyways because they have so many student loans. But then, you know, a lot of people end up quitting and then they kind of wasted a lot of time, you know, time and knowledge and energy. So yeah, that's a that's a really good point uh, you made there. So any um, last second advice, like if you could give like maybe one piece of advice to someone who's trying to get a digital marketing job, what would it be? I'd say portfolio is everything and every, everybody has a, a accounts that you can work on. Everybody wants more traffic in business. You can go to anybody. Yes, rejection is a huge thing. I sent out hundreds of job postings. Yeah, I go sent out, apply to a bunch of jobs. I got two jobs at the end, and but it's only like a one or two percent success rate at that point. But still, that's all that matters. In a month, I still I end up just people are gonna uh, when you ask ask to get access to the ads account, they're gonna be you're gonna get rejected. But even if one percent looks like one of them, I was just I kept sending asking uh, companies if they wanted uh, help with their ads for free, and some of them say yes, some of them no, but. A lot of them said no. And eventually I eventually got one that was about a third of a million dollars I'd spend a year. It was a huge help to get the job. And I never, mm-hmm. and if I just like, if I was, I got so much rejection at that point from like people saying no to me helping them with ads. It was just like cow, like cows at this point. And then mm-hmm. if I didn't have, if I didn't even try, I wouldn't have such a huge ad spend would just like be so daunting that I never mm-hmm. would have just asked that alone because I was just used to that. I'm just like, maybe, maybe not because at this point. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, just about everything in life is a numbers game, you know, like applying to jobs, you know, like, yeah, just about everything is a numbers game. You know, you can do certain things to to help yourself definitely make it make it look better. But at the end of the day, you just got to apply to a bunch of jobs and eventually you'll get one, you know, be the right, right person, right situation, right time kind of thing. So. Awesome. Um, Patrick, is there anything I should have asked you, but I didn't? Not that I can think of. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming on the channel. Really appreciate it. I'm glad I was able to facilitate you discovering digital marketing and discovering uh, Seth's awesome coaching program. Um, by the way, guys, uh, down in the description, in the pinned comment below, there is a free training that will go over all the different types of digital marketing that we talked about. If you're confused about what those are, uh, whether or not digital marketing is a good career for you and a, just a general overview of how you can get a digital marketing job. So free training down in the description in the pinned comment below, definitely check it out. And Patrick, thank you so much for coming on the channel. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me.